We're in a natural forest surrounded by beautiful tulip poplar trees and oaks and elms and maples. Welcome to Camp High Road, a United Methodist campground for the last 62 years. It's a tranquil setting just 30 minutes from Washington, D.C., and three years ago, part of it became a green cemetery. This is the other family tree, and you can see... The Reverend Rick Dawson manages this two acres and the camp. He buried his daughter's ashes under a tree here. We knew she loved the forest. She actually attended Camp High Road here, so it just seemed like, you know, this would be a, a good final resting place for her. The Eco-Eternity Forest sits apart from the rest of the camp. Name plaques are placed on the back side of the trees to preserve the feel of the forest. Brad Doan is selecting a place for the ashes of his co-worker. She would like this. Most cemeteries are kind of depressing. Here, you can still reflect on someone's memory and not be sad. Cremated remains are buried in a biodegradable urn in the drip line of a tree. The practice is more earth-friendly than traditional burial, explains Eco Eternity President Jack Lowe. What it takes to make a, a metal casket, a lot of energy, a lot of materials. Once you bury that in the ground, you're essentially sterilizing that plot of land. Cost is also a factor. A traditional funeral can run up to $30,000, while you can be cremated and buried at Eco Eternity for around 2000 People say, I'd rather leave all that extra money to my grandchildren than to pour it into the ground. Family trees with 15 spaces lease for $4,500. Naturalist Joshua Johns points out that the land will be protected for at least a century to come. The real danger for these trees is not that the soil doesn't have enough nutrients in it, but that someone's going to come and cut them down and build a Walmart. And so you've done something much more beneficial than fertilizing a tree. You know, you have saved a section of forest. A forest full of life's cycles. Proceeds keep High Road open for ministries like summer camp, baptisms, and weddings. Pastors are available to do the internments here, too. So the tree, as it continues to grow, stands as a living memorial to the people, but also to God's creation. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.